when in doubt, use freaking scissors and cut the thing open. It's Vlogmas Day 7, and hi, it me, Tree. And I have succeeded in doing a whole bunch of adulting today. Basically, I, you know, folded laundry and put laundry away, so that's big adulting. I also have other adulting to do that has to do with forms for the government, which, eh. But I thought, because something arrived today, that I would do kind of a haul video for you. Is it a haul? It's not an unboxing because I know what's in it. So yes, it's a haul video. So, hold on. I ordered a bunch of stuff from David's Tea, which I have never had anything from David's Tea. Uh, there's a YouTuber I subscribe to named Pixie Locks, who's a, a cute little decor girl who is obsessed with it, and eh, it sounded good, and I need more tea to more types of tea to drink, and no needs more types of tea to drink, because self-care is a thing that we are both very, very bad at. So, I'm gonna open it up. So the first things are, they, they like, include like, bonus sachets. So there's a green, green passion fruit green tea. And a Caribbean Crush Fruit Infusion. I don't know why I'm trying to smell it through the thing because I can't. <laughs> they are sealed. <laughs> and a North African Mint. Which it's a green tea. Fantastic. I, I like that the extras were just in a regular old envelope. That's entertaining to me. So basically what, what I did was that I ordered a bunch of like their holiday special things so that we were getting a chance to try a bunch of different kinds of tea instead of like committing ourselves to one kind and then not liking it. So the first one is Winter Favorites. I have no idea if this is going to do the thing. Okay. Um, and it's warm keys for cold days, and the box is adorable. I am, I have a thing for boxes. But yes, I, I, I am a cat. I have a thing for boxes. But they come in these reusable little tins that tell on the bottom what they are, which that's exciting. But it's 12 different teas, including... The Spice is Right, Banana Nut Bread, Forever Nuts, Cardamom French Toast, which sounds lovely. Cinnamon Robos Chai also sounds lovely because chai is my favorite thing. Spiced Apple, Glitter and Gold, Alpine Punch, which is Robos. I'm probably saying that wrong, by the way. Chocolate Macaroon, Toasted Walnut, Hot Chocolate, and Santa's Secret. It's a lovely box. I should mention that this is not that this is not remotely a sponsored thing. This is just me being a tea drinker and being excited about tea. Then we have eight nights of tea. Again, I have no idea if it's gonna focus. Joy of autofocus. And the box is lovely. It's so pr the boxes are so pretty. But this one is being. Let, let me pull you out. Don't make me mangle the box. Oh, that's why. Mm, I'm smart. Has a thing that keeps it closed. Scissors. When in doubt, use freaking scissors and cut the thing open. Or those lovely reusable things. This box is so cute. And this has carrot cupcake. Some, more of some rubberous chai because... Mm, Organic The Glow, uh, Organic Dream On, Organic Peppermint, because of peppermint. <sighs> Super Ginger, Serenity Now, and Mother's Little Helper, which that would have sold me right there because that is the best light. Is it Rolling Stones joke? No. Mm. Mother's Little Helper? Yeah. Rolling Stones joke. I got it on the first try. Hi, I am not as old as no. And then we got sweet dessert, sweet and indulgent teas, which are come in this cute house. Tell me this is not the cutest, like, house box. Or that we keep things closed. I understand why they have to keep things closed, but it's also really annoying if you don't see it the first try. They all smell so good. And this is caramel, shortbread, hot chocolate, English toffee, 
chocolate macaroon, let it snow, strawberry rhubarb parfait, which is Pixie Lux's favorite, white cranberry par <sighs> bark, not perk, bark, and candy cane crush, which sounds really good. Because I'm that kind of person who has mug problems by like a lot, I got a couple mugs. Because really, I can't have enough of them. This one is the the rustic mug. In and it's trees. Look, they're all the little trees. It me. Happy little trees. Bob Ross would be proud. It is a very big box. So much stuff. And then there's this rustic mug, which is snowflakes. How do you make it autofocus? Uh, it's snowflakes. That should be an entertaining sequence. And a measuring spoon for the tea. So that <laughs> the proper amounts because this is expensive tea and <sighs> yes because it's expensive tea and I have historically been very bad at measuring my tea and it's also a really nice color it's like it's called like frost and it's like a seasonal color and then we got this thing I don't know if you can see it there we go That's probably not good to do. Um, it's a steeper, which what you do is that you put the loose tea into it and you pour the boiling water on top and it sits and then you put it on top of your mug and you hit a little thing and it pours into your mug. I mean, I do have, what is it called? I do have kind of words. I do have sev several okay like one mostly of those uh tea steepers the one that i have is one of those little like messy ones that is adorable and just <sighs> so happy but this is like for when gnome and i both like tea is the thing we need or uh when gnome is making iced tea because gnome drinks iced tea a lot it'll make things easier <laughs> if nothing else, we won't forget about tea bags being in it. And the last thing I got was pumpkin chai because yes, because chai and pumpkin. I can't smell it; it's sealed. All right, so that's everything I got from David's Tea. As a last stuff, it it was it was a big order. So now I think I'm gonna go make some tea. I don't know if I'm going to get back to the vlog, uh, vlogging anymore today, so I'm going to close it here in case I do not. So I will see you tomorrow, theoretically. Courage. smarter than the box, I swear.